then a sulfon DNA has been discovered in a Tibetan cave and it may only be 45,000 years old, which means that the Denisovans lived alongside modern humans. The DNA belonging to the Denisovians, the ancient human ancestor discovered in Tibetan cave, could only be 45,000 years old according to scientists. The ancient Denisovan mitochondrial DNA was recovered in sediments from Baishita Karst Cave. It's a limestone cave at the northeast margin of the Tibetan Plateau, about 10,000 feet above sea level. Sample indicates Denisovans occupied the high altitude cave from around 100,000 to 60,000 years ago, and also possibly as recently as 45,000 years ago. If the DNA is indeed only 45,000 years old, the species would have lived alongside modern humans in northeastern Central Asia. And we also know that they have also been discovered in Siberia of Russia, and they are uh, giants. They're not as small as Homo sapiens. Denisovians, a group of extinct hominins that diverged from Neanderthals about 400,000 years ago, may have more widely inhabited Northeast Central Asia than scientists thought beforehand. Samples of the sediments were analyzed by an international team, including Charles Perrault at Arizona State University. He said, when we started developing this project about 10 years ago, none of us expected Baisha Cave of Tibet to be such a rich site. We've barely scratched the surface, and this is basically in the area of Mongolia, and uh, three small excavation units have yielded hundreds of stone tools, fauna, and ancient DNA, and there's a lot that remains to be done there. Further work in this cave may give us true, unique access to Denisovan behavior, solidifying the picture that's emerging, which is that Denisovans, like the Neanderthals, were not mere offshoots of human family tree. They were part of a web of now extinct populations that contributed to the current human gene pool and shaped the evolution of our species in ways that we're only beginning to understand. Now let's remember we've had a lot of extinction level events, uh, the last one being the Clovis culture about 13,000 years ago with the Clovis comet impact, uh, doing away with the uh, North American Clovis culture and also the woolly mammoth and the, and the sloths of uh, North America. And also before that, the supervolcano eruption of Mount Tapo in North Island of New Zealand, which was a super eruption, which again uh, led anthropologists to claim that only 2,000 humans, Homo sapiens, were left on Earth from that extinction level event. Only 2,000. This is on Humans Are Free. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. I kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support, and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box.